All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about link reclamations. And this is a really nice strategy if your site or your client's site has a lot of inbound links linking to your site. This is a strategy that I love to see when a client, new client comes on board and we're looking at their site and we notice that uh, they have a lot of backlinks coming in and there's a lot of uh, links that we can reclaim. And what I mean by uh, reclaim is a lot of times sites will link to a different web we'll, we'll say a, a site will link to your website but something will be wrong with that link so you don't get the credit for it in a way that helps your search engine rankings and uh, that's what we're going to talk about in this video link reclamation is all about really recovering link juice from links that you already have placed to your site and uh, it's uh, it's a simple process to do but there's a there's a little bit involved with it and we'll get into it and uh, first of all, let me say, uh, when we talk about uh, link reclamation, it's a big part of that. Uh, why is uh, why do you have to do link reclamation? Well, you want rankings, right? Why is there a need for link reclamation? Well, it's because of link rot. And as a webmaster, link rot is not your friend. When you link to another site, there's a good chance that site is going to go out of uh, commission one day either it's going to get deleted or the domain's going to change or that company's going to change their website and that url that's on that you're linking to is going to change and they're not going to set the redirect and eventually you're going to be linking to a lot of 404 pages so you're going to link to pages that no longer exist and why is that a big deal well that's link rock that's what link rot is. And why is link rot bad? Because the more bad sites that you're linking to from your site, the more Google will start devaluing your site. So you don't want Google to devalue your site. You want them to uh, to put more value into your site and, and uh, to value your site more than they currently do and have that constantly going up. And one of the things you have to do to keep that to keep to make that happen is to uh really fight link rot and we'll get into that in a second now these are kind of easy to get links because you're going to be dealing with people and websites that are already linking to you i mean they're already linking to you and in some cases the links are on your on your pages and linking to your site but for whatever reason uh there's things holding that, that link back from helping your rankings and not to say that every link you get placed to your site is going to help your search engine rankings, but if there's something wrong with that link, there's a good chance it just not, is not going to help you. And that's why we'll get into uh, what are some of the things that could go wrong with the link to make it so uh, you would have to reclaim it and uh, so you can get link juice out of it. All right, so let's talk about uh, claiming links that are placed to your site already. So, but something is keeping those links from helping your rankings. And I'm not talking about bad links. Of course, those aren't helping your rankings. But I'm talking about good links. You get a good site linking to you, a good relevant site, and they're linking to you. But it's not helping your rankings. So what is, uh, and uh, whoops, let me fix this. It's not helping your soul rankings. Your SEO rankings. All right. Well, one of the reasons may be that the site that's linking to you uh to one of your pages, it's uh, that page no longer exists. Maybe you took the page down and uh, you have some 404s on your page. If you go and uh, check into Google Webmaster Tools, it's called Google Search Console now or whatever they're calling it, you could look at your site to see for crawl errors. And you'll find the pages that are 404 right from inside your uh, Google Console. Now, another thing you could do is uh, you can go and use a Ahrefs. I love using Ahrefs every chance I get. And I'll show you uh, I'll show you one of the ways that you could do that. And I I put my own site in here and what I did was I put in Matt Leclerc. Doc, whoop, let me move this. I moved Matt uh, I put MattLeclerc.com. This is an old domain. Uh, it's 
over a decade old uh and i haven't done anything with it for like several years and uh so i knew i was going to find a bunch of 404 links in here because uh i took the whole site down this site is loaded with 404 so every link mattleclair.com has ever received at this point at least the old links are 404s unless it was linking to the index now uh in, in, in hrefs i'll go here and uh, i put my site in and then i click broken links so hrefs makes this really easy and i can go through and find out where there, there's link rot on my website and uh, it's not that these links are there's a reason why i took this site down it's not like these backlinks are huge you know there's a lot of uh <laughs> it looks like a lot of junk that i'm probably going though they've probably already been disavowed but i'm looking through here and uh yeah it's nothing that i would really i'm going to do i'm not going to do anything to reclaim these but let's pretend that these links were awesome and they're coming from these really big sites that are relevant to my industry and let's pretend that this is your client site or your site and these are your backlinks and you find a bunch of 404s you're going to want to reclaim some of that link juice because since this link still exists and if it was a good link and it's linking over to uh, mattleclear.com forward slash free consultation now i know that's a 404 and you look up there that's the address that's a 404 that means the link on this site is not helping my rankings for mattleclear.com newsflash it never did to begin with this site was uh i used it mostly for form marketing all right so now one of the uh, options i have is okay i could just take this entire url this uh, page url mattleclair.com forward slash free consultation htm and i could redirect it to another page on my website that is relevant to uh, free consultations now i don't give free consultations anymore so i don't have any of those pages to give but what I could easily do is reset this page up or, or set up a page on this page right here and name it the same thing. And what will happen is this will no longer be a 404 and the link juice that is coming from absence.com uh, flowing through the link to my site will start kicking in link juice and it will start helping my rankings. So if you find a page on your, your client's site that has a bunch of links and sometimes we'll run into sites that'll have like 75 of these types of 404 links and I love these because you just go through and you recreate the page and um, if if applicable uh, sometimes the client doesn't want the page uh, they deleted it for a reason sometimes the government tells them to take the page down sometimes uh, it's just an old service they don't want to mess with anymore and they don't bring it back for whatever reason there's lots of different reasons and uh, but I, I could easily just go and set this up and set up that domain. And if I want to get tricky with it, I could even go to the Wayback Machine and uh, type in that 404 domain. You can see that's been like 2008 that I set that page up at least. And I'll go and I'll click one of these links. And there it is. What a beautiful page. And... Uh, Wow, look how big, look at those forms I used to use. They're just huge, it was 10 years ago. All right, so I could easily use this content, right? It's my content, it's not stealing, it's my site. I could easily go and take this content, get the code, go and set up a new page on mattleclair.com, name it forward slash free consultation dot htm, and lo and behold, I just reclaimed every single link that's linking to that page because that page would no longer be a 404. And this works for other, like here's another one. Look how long that you are. I used to use really long URLs too. Here's another 404. Remember, they're all gonna be 404s because I'm just doing something with this site. And free web traffic course winners only. All right, so, uh, Let's get into, uh, where, do, where am I going? I want to get into uh, hrefs. Oh, that's not hrefs. Here's hrefs. 
Uh, not hrefs. I want to get into uh, right here. I want to get into uh, Wayback Machine. And then I'm going to put that. And there it is. <laughs> I'm setting that up too. I'm sorry, I'm going through memory lane looking at my old pages here. I always like long copy. It works for sales. I wonder if this copy is still good. But now here's another page with a lot of copy. Now what could I do? If I wanted to, I could take all this copy, go create a new page, this time name it uh, Free Web Traffic Course winners only this one right here and i could just name that page uh what it was what it was named before and i reestablished that page and what would happen is that would reclaim that link that's linking over to my site does that make sense so there's two ways that you can rec reclaim these broken links uh to get that link juice coming back to your site number one is to recreate the page and then go find the content with wayback machine or to redirect this page and just redirect it to another relevant page on your site. And that's uh, those are the two uh, different ways that you can deal with uh, those types of links. And I showed you how to get into uh, using Wayback Machine, uh, re recreating the content uh, where applicable. That means you want to set the site up because the page has enough uh, links linking to it. You know you're going to get something good out of it. All right. Uh, use the same URL structure to reestablish the link equity. Remember, you're recreating the link, what it used to be. It just isn't there anymore, and you're going to just recreate it. And uh, what can you do to set up the 301 redirects? Well, if you're, if you're using uh, WordPress, use Yoast SEO plugin, the premium. Uh, I highly recommend you buy it. It's just a great tool. Also, you can set up the redirects manually. But though that's one way to reclaim links, and that's to uh, 404 pages that uh, you find in hrefs that you just don't have, ex they just don't exist anymore. And uh, you can recreate them or redirect them so you can reclaim some of that link juice. Another thing you could do is uh, put in your uh, like Twitter profile. Sometimes you'll find, uh, and this isn't really a link reclamation, this is finding people linking to your Twitter profile, your Facebook page, or your LinkedIn profile, or your Google Plus page, or your Mention page, or all, check every single profile that you own, Instagram even, and then look to see for people that are linking to them. Because if they're willing to link to your Twitter account, they, they, you can reach out to them and ask them to link to your website. So claim links that are placed to your site but something is keeping them from uh, helping your SEO rankings. Now, linking to your social media profile, that isn't helping your SEO rankings. So had they linked to your main website instead of your, your, your social media profile, that would have helped your SEO rankings. So another thing you could do, and this is, uh, gets a little trickier so far, you're, this is just an on-page issue. You find out what your 404 pages are, right? And then you just recreate them or redirect them so the link equity from the, from those pages are reestablished. But there's also times when you lose links, and that happens a lot. Uh, hrefs, uh, what I use is I go to hrefs, I can hit lost backlinks. I probably haven't lost any backlinks for a really long time. <laughs> because it's so old. Okay, let me put another site in there. Let me put one of my let me put my your SEL squad in there. Let me grab the URL. All right. Let me find some lost backlinks here. And sometimes uh you just lose backlinks and somebody uh doesn't maybe you posted something they didn't like or, or whatever. Or maybe that they, they changed their site around. But go in and uh, click lost backlinks on your backlink profile and you'll find all kinds of all your lost links. And uh, I'm looking to see the links that I've lost. SEO clarity. Hey. Uh, and sometimes these are these are false negatives too, where this link, uh, let me find if I can find an index page on here. Sometimes you'll lose like an index. Uh, home, you're like, I'm losing a homepage link. Well, let me find something a little more lost links. 
Just give me a little more. Sometimes you'll see like a lost link. Uh, let's say it's from, let me find one that's a lost link from a domain. All right, here's, well, here's one. Uh, I have a lost link from, I know this for a fact, because uh, I, I saw it when I went down, but I had an, I had a uh, backlink on ericward.com from this site, and it was in the, uh, it was a site-wide link and the uh, footer of the link. Now, I'm looking on here, and it says that the link's gone. So I, and I know that. So what I would do is say, oh, wow, that's a deleted link. And I would go to the site, make sure that the, that the link isn't there. And I know it's not. Bums me out it's not there. But And it was placed right down here. Whoop. Jeez. And it was right down here. So I would come and look. Hey, well, wait a minute. My link's gone. So then I would reach out to uh, the people running ericward.com now, and I'd ask them to reinstate my link. Now, when you're reaching out and you find your lost backlinks, that's not hard to do. The hard part is reaching out to the webmaster, webmaster to ask him or her to uh, link to your site again. And I don't want you to freak out about this. And because if you're thinking, well, they don't like my content, it's all about mindset, and that's why they deleted my link. Uh, I think, uh, um, I think that, um, that's that's nonsense. I think you should have in your mindset that it was an accident that they deleted your link, that uh, it was uh, just totally an oversight, and you're just calling back and uh, reaching back out to reestablish that link because they link to you once, they'll link to you again. Why assume something negative? Now, if I go back to hrefs and I look at this, I can see in the last, uh, how many days, have how many links have I, how many lost links have I lost? In uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, I have like 20, like 25 links I've lost. And, uh, if if you have a large site, that can add up after a while. So you have to watch for link rot that's happening from uh, links that uh, are linking to your site and are gone because you deleted the page. And you also have to look for the links that you had and they're no longer linking to you. So it gets, uh, you know, it gets to be a, uh, it's a chore, but link rot is something that you really need to keep your eye on because it'll give you a good chance to get some good link juice. All right. Uh, like I said, it may have been an accident when you're reaching out. Avoid accus uh, you know, accusatory and or incredulous tones. Oh, hey, that link's gone. That was the best page you were linking to on there. What's going on? I can't believe you did that. No, don't just get don't ha even have the tone in it and all and also give them an out say hey i, I noticed that you're no longer linking to our our resource on uh, this page you did at one time and you no longer are could you uh tell me uh uh what it is that made you decide to uh to unlink it and also uh if you don't want to reply back that's fine i understand you're busy i was just trying to get more insight into uh what, to what i can do to make my content better so that's give them an out don't 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 come in with an accusation hey why'd you delete that link uh no give them an out in other words uh it's cool that they deleted it you're just checking to make sure that uh you know to see why in case there's something you could fix all right so that's uh i don't really those i don't i'm gonna be just just dead on truthful here with you and honest and uh and i know you, you're never supposed to tell people that you're going to be honest with them because that infers that there's just times you're not being honest but i don't like reclaiming deleted links i i just don't like it to me it's like calling an old girlfriend up 
to get your records back and if you're not old enough to know what records are that's what we used to have to do when we broke up with our significant others in the 80s and 90s we'd have to call them back and go get all our records back and they'd be in a box and they were heavy and uh that's how i feel like reclaiming deleted links feels it's like you're reaching out to somebody who deleted your link and it makes me upset and uh and so i have to get over that mindset that the reason that it happened was because, uh, like, it wasn't because they hated my content. And I know why they deleted my, why the Eric's widow deleted my link from uh, ericward.com. And I don't really hold that against her. It, it kind of hurt my feelings. Uh, but it, because uh, I did work so hard to earn that from Eric. And uh, I was just gone, just like that. But anyway, uh, I checked with her first to see if it was an accident. And then when I found out that it wasn't an accident, I was uh, cool with it. And I said, that's fine. Whatever choice, if you think that the site's better without my name on the site, then I want you to take my name off of it. Uh, it's, uh, it was just a pleasure to have it on there as long as I did. So it's like, it's that's this is tough but if you're going to ask these people why they deleted your link and what you can do to make it better and if you get good at that skill set and put your emotions behind regardless of what you're feeling it really may have been an accident why they deleted your link but uh and larger sites though i find that your best link opportunities are going to be coming from uh sites that you had uh 404s on where people are linking to your site or your client's site and those pages are 404 just setting those 404s up and getting them to uh you know getting those pages back up or redirected will uh reestablish the link equity of course you can also reach out to people who are mentioning your brand but not linking to you uh you can use google alerts for that that's a different type of uh, outreach campaign uh and set up your brand name and uh what in google alerts that way whenever somebody mentions google your your brand name you'll get an alert right in your uh, email and you'll know instantly or at least that same day and then you could check to see if they link to you and if they didn't include a link uh, when they mention your brand you could certainly reach out to them to ask them to link to you another good uh tool that you can use for alerts uh for brand mentions is a buzz sumo content alert and uh, that's something that you can definitely use and there's a lot of other brand mention tools where they'll check out your brand like mention will will we'll monitor your brand name across social media accounts but that's really not the purpose here right because we're doing it for backlinks and forget backlinks from social media we want backlinks from websites and so google alerts and buzzsumo content alert works pretty well for that and uh another way you can reclaim links is, is check your if you have images on your site if you're an e-commerce site and you did all your images yourself uh just uh reverse image search those images and using google and find out what pages are uh, what sites stole those images then uh reach out to them and I firmly ask them to attribute uh your website from uh, with the image that means linking to your site and uh you could also reverse image search your logo too. So they may have put your logo up somewhere and not put a link on it. Maybe it's somebody doing business with you and uh, maybe it's one of your vendors and they're happy that they're doing business with you and they put your logo up on their on their site, but they didn't link to it. While doing a reverse image search on Google of your logo, you may find a lot of different sites linking to your site to uh, displaying your logo or your client's logo reaching out to them and asking for attribution is uh is uh well it's legal and most of the times people respond to that really nicely so link reclamation uh 404s if you have a lot of 404s on your site uh fix those up and uh, you can reclaim the link juice from your existing links. Deleted links are a little harder to go after because you have to reach out to people who have deleted your links. But remember, it may have been by accident or it may have been a, have been a misunderstanding. You'll be doing a lot better. Uh, uh, you'll be doing yourself a disservice if you do it as I do and just not reach out to deleted links uh, unless it's like a really big, big link that you yeah, like I did with ericward.com. All right, so that's link reclamation. I got, had to get into that to get into uh, what we're going to do next. Uh, we're going to do a
big series, big video on broken link building. And that's kind of based off of link reclamation and some of the same tools are used. Uh, you know, we're fighting link rot on our own websites and on our clients' websites, but also our prospects that we're reaching out to for links, they're also fighting link rot too. They may not be fighting it, but they still have a problem with link rot. If you could reach out to them and help them with their link rot, that's uh there's a good chance that they're going to be happy you're going to help their site and they're going to give you a link and that's what broken link building is all about is helping other webmasters solve their link rot issues that's why i wanted to do the link reclamation video first because if solve your own link rot problems and once you get that solved then you can uh move on to broken link building and start helping others solve theirs and that's when the links come in all right so that's link reclamation